Forgiving is not the same as, as forgetting or excusing or smoothing things over, uh, but forgiveness is costly, even when there's no repentance on the part of the world. What happens when they don't even acknowledge it? There you see, once again, it is a process, not an event. And every time you do it, you realize you were given far more than you were asked to forgive. And so you recall the guy who, is, who owes 10,000 talents, and he says, You're gonna, I'm going to throw you into prison for this. And he says, have mercy on me. And the king forgives him 10,000. And then there's another birth person who owes him 100 denarii, just a, a, tri, a, a pittance in comparison. It's about uh, several hundred time, thousand times less he's asked to forgive than he was forgiven. And he throttles the guy, says, pay up. And then the king finds out about that, and he, he's grieved. You get the idea. You were forgiven vastly more than you're ever asked to forgive. What you did against the grace of the Holy One was far more and far more intense than anything that, you, that someone can do against you. And if we do not forgive, then we show an evidence that we do, haven't grasped our true forgiveness. Because if we do not forgive others, then it's an evidence that we haven't grasped what mercy and grace really is. So that's a huge, and then unforgiveness becomes as well a cancer of the soul. It produces a brood of bitterness and of resentment. And then you become identified as a victim. We have a whole culture that's now embracing this victimhood mindset and re re believing themselves as being, having been injured. And so what takes place is that their people have a thin identity and they're not in relationships are conditional at best. Unless you buy my narrative, we can't have a relationship. It's gotten to the point where there's not much of a basis for true community because without community and grace and forgiveness and understanding, you're not going to be able to survive. 